Digital migration is the new battleground for pay TV operators to increase the people that hold their decoders. Could the battle be turning murky with some of the players calling it unhealthy as it has ended up in lawsuits? Allegations have been made as to the legitimacy of the decoders being sold by Star Times TV. Customers have complained that the service provider is selling outdated decoders on the market. Star Times blames it on competition intended to sideline them from the market. Uh, last year, it was in 2012 I think, Uganda Consumer Protection Awareness Association prepared a press conference for the ban of sale of DVBT one decoders. It was supposed to call all the vendors of this product, but they singled out only one pay TV to represent us all. Why? So the, the legality of this, I don't see enough evidence in this because they are trying to be stood to one side. Let's have free and fair competition on the market. The Uganda Communications Commission backs Star Times position, exonerating them from any wrongdoing. Uh, we believe that um, they are in total compliance with the DVBT2 uh, set of boxes as a standard. Um, I'm not aware of them selling T1 at the moment, but I'm aware that they had sold it earlier and they have put in place a mechanism to retrieve. So we have not received any formal complaint from, from uh, anybody. On the allegations of sabotage by any player, the commission asserts that the burden of proof lies with the one alleging. We'll, we'll of course carry out our own independent investigation, but request or demand from whoever alleges uh, sabotage to provide evidence to that allegation. Because it's on the basis of such evidence that we can then pronounce ourselves.